What's up, my boys? We have been looking forward to this day for the last, I don't know, three years. We are going to the Blue Fire Mountain. We are getting picked up by our driver right here now. And then we are gonna drive to the neighbor island, Yeva. We are sleeping in the car until we get there and then we are hiking the mountain at sunset or after sunset? Before sunset. Before sunset. Yeah, so it's gonna be pitch black. We have no idea if it's gonna be rainy or windy or cold. It's gonna be cold. Hey. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> A lot of traffic. <laughs> so so bad. The guide will will try to to negotiate with the uh, forest police. Yeah. Yeah. How much do we have to pay to bring the drone? Uh, I don't know. We, we we figure it out with the driver. Then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because we need to have the drone. Yeah. Very important. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We are driving from Seminyak and all the way to Mount Ijen, which is on East Java. So we're actually going on a different island. And this is the first time for both of us. So what's interesting about this volcano is that it's one of the only volcanoes on the planet that spits out blue lava instead of red lava. So that's why it's called the Blue Fire Mountain. The goal is to see the blue fire, which is only visible at nighttime. So that's why we're driving now here at six o'clock in the evening, just when the sun is setting. And we're gonna hike up the mountain at 1 a.m. in the morning. And it's gonna be like, we're gonna turn everything around, but it's gonna be a spectacular experience. I'm a little scared. Me too. Or just hot. Scared, but also very excited. That usually goes hand in hand. Let's go, mother! Yay! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Three hours drive! <laughs> <laughs> Times two. <laughs> We are 20 minutes from the boat. So it's a good idea to get some food now because when we get to the mountain there won't be very there won't be any food opportunities. So we do need to fill our bellies now so we have some energy. And also I thought driving in the nighttime would be so cozy and relaxed, but it has been so difficult to get some sleep because the traffic is insane. It's all big trucks. So after five hours of driving on the bumpy roads of Bali, we finally made it mm -hmm. to the harbor where we were taking this boat mm -hmm. to Java. And uh, this is where the adventure really started because we didn't know that our driver wasn't following us all the way to the mountain. Uh, he didn't tell us anything. The whole situation became pretty anxious for us because we were the only non-locals people there. Everybody was looking at us like we came down from the moon. And the whole atmosphere surrounded this boat, this harbor. It was such a melancholic atmosphere. We were terrified. In, in, in a strange way that we haven't felt before because it wasn't like we were threatened in any way but everything was just so new and unusual.
So I'm bored on this um, 30 minutes tour across the water. We are getting uh, entertainment. We have five uh, bank commercials that goes in circle. The same five commercials from one bank, just looping. So the boat ride officially is, is only 30 minutes because it's only seven kilometers, but there are always at least four or five or even 10 boats in the water. So it took 20 minutes to get across and then we were sitting there for another 50 minutes just waiting to get into the harbor. So instead of 30 minutes, it took us one hour and 20 minutes. So time was really ticking. And when we finally arrived in the harbor of East Java, we ran into a new delay because there was no driver to pick us up. It's a bit of a race against time because we need to start the hike at around one, the latest. Um, but the good thing is that Yeva is actually one hour behind Bali. So there we were with no idea of what was going to happen because we kept asking our driver, are we getting picked up? And he had no idea, no idea whatsoever. And then after one hour of waiting, he said, let's go this way. And it seemed like we just walked uh, to a random place as if he had found an alternative driver to pick us up. And, and in front of this minimart, these two guys were picking us up. Hey. Hedra. Jon. Nice to meet you. I'm your guy to the full canoe. Ah, perfect. Hi. 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 It's a quarter to 12 now and we want to start hiking latest at 1. Yeah. We're and not going to make it. You could see how our driver, he was discussing with, 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 with the new driver as if, you know, he had to tell him, uh, so this is what you have to do. And that's what made us even more certain that this was not the actual driver we were supposed to have. But it turned out to be that our new driver was, in fact, our actual driver. The problem was that our Bali driver didn't take the Java time zone into consideration. Uh, sorry, uh, my English not so well. No, okay. it's fine, it's no fine. Worry. As long as you guide us the right way <laughs> and help us not die. How long does it take to reach the top? Uh, one hour, 30 minutes normally. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So uh, from the top, uh, from the packing area to the top, 3.5 kilometers. Okay. 3.5 kilometers. Yes. Okay. But the uh, uh, go down to crater, 800 meters. 800 meters. When go down to the crater okay. from the top. Are so, we are we in, in good time? You think? Yes, I hope. I hope the weather is good. But did you? Can it rain? Is it possible to rain? No, no. Still, uh, because this month is still uh, still dry season. We go down to the crater, we must slow and be careful. Okay, it's dangerous. Yeah. I hope low smoke from the volcano. Yeah. Because the smell is so yes, strong. Smell. Yeah. yeah. You have masks for us? Yes, yes, I have. One of the highlights of the trip was sitting in this Jeep. This was such a, an authentic experience. You were sitting there. There's no seatbelt working. There's no nothing in the middle of nowhere, uncharted territory, going to somewhere you haven't been and kind of scared of what's in store for you. And um, he was driving really fast. And uh, that was good because we had something to catch up on. We um, slightly underestimated that uh, it's very cold here. I think we forgot that we are going on top of a mountain. How high are we here? Here around uh, 1,850 1, meters. And how high are we getting up? 2,368.
So it took us eight hours to get here. And that is that included the That's one in, hour difference? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is included the one hour difference. Eight hours. So it from... took us eight hours to get here, and we have had no sleep really. We have had like half an hour in the car because you can't sleep in the in the Bali traffic. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, 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 dun. So we got ourselves some nice and warm Red Bulls. <laughs> which I don't mind because it's freezing up here and then our driver is so kind to us that he offered tea and coffee but I'm getting used to the temperature actually what about you one thing I'm gonna learn is to be practical when it comes to dressing because I'm wearing my Italian designer jacket <laughs> which is paper thin and you dress uh, to impress but you don't dress <laughs> to keep comfy. I don't impress myself I mean once we get going it's gonna be Exactly. Yeah. And why are we sitting here? Yeah, actually it's not opening until 1 o'clock. So we have been stressing for no reason. It opens in 5 minutes, but actually the drive up here was only like less than an hour. We have to put the camera down in the bag now because otherwise we have to pay to bring it. We got to pack it down now and um, yeah. See you on the top. See you on the hike. Am I there? Yeah. How's the shape? Still good, but we have barely started. <laughs> so that's why, I guess. So when does it get hard? When does it get difficult? Ah. Uh, a car meter from, from, from here will be the, uh, difficult. A car meters normal. Yeah. 1.7 speed. Yeah? And then one kilo normal. But well, I'm already struggling with my breath. <laughs> You're struggling because you are so in such a high altitude all of a sudden. Yeah. We're not used to that. Are there any dangerous animals here? In the forest? Yeah, there's yeah. like a leopard. Like oh, you have leopards leopard? here? Yes. But not, not, not dangerous with the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes uh, in when uh, in the morning, when uh, on the way back, sometimes we see the black monkey in the on the tree. Oh, really? Oh, really, black monkey? Yes, but I see the last time the black monkey five five months ago. In this area, there is uh, a <coughs> <coughs> two two volcanoes still active. Ijen and then Raung. Eight months ago, two or three people going to the hospital because the smoke. No, this the gas poison yeah. the gas from the volcano. Oh. Oh, really? So yeah, over there there's a uh, the little village. When we are here today, it's not dangerous, right? Uh, the smoke? The smoke, I think it's uh, yeah, a little bit dangerous for the health. It's, it's, I think it's not, not, not so good. We're getting closer to the top and already you get a sense of what is coming for us because you can see all the volcano tops in the distance. It's pitch dark right now and it's gonna be for a while but hang on because this is going to be an absolute incredible nature exploration. Yeah. <coughs> Am I there? Yeah. No, not now. <coughs> okay, so we're walking in. Uh, <coughs> it's pretty uh, heavy, the, the, smoke. the smoke here. We are getting the gas mask now because it's like... I feel beautiful. Uh, I'm Bane. I'm Bane from uh, Batman. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow you claim what is rightfully yours. Oh, you can really feel the smoke in your eyes as well. Like my eyes get all red and dried out. Yeah. And it smells like somebody just took like a massive part. So what you see right here is actually the bread and butter for some of the locals here. This is sulfur and this is like a stone mess. And the locals, they would walk up here and collect minimum 65 kilos and walk all the way down the mountain again with this. And they will do it three times a day in order to feed their families. One kilo of this only gives them 1000 rubia. So they don't get very much this is more than my kilo. This is like carrying. Oh, that's not true, Amelia. <laughs> yeah. Oi. Oh, a strong woman. So this way. Yeah. Going to the, the lake. 
Okay. How's the time? Are we in good time? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good time. Okay, now it gets a bit more challenging. This is when it gets like fun, so like when you be careful, it's fun. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Oh, nice. Left. Left. Oh, come, 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 What's your name? Yeah, thank you. Sutamin. 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 Yeah. How many years have you done this? Yeah. Uh, perang tahun dah masuk ke. Dua puluh dua puluh. Twenty. Twenty years. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Every day. Well. Yeah. Thank you very much. Terima mm. kasih. Yeah, terima kasih. Please watch out here, Major. Standing in the crater of the lake, seeing this man standing here with 80 kilos of sulfur stone on his shoulder was absolutely emotional. You could see the emptiness in his eyes, but also a sense of determination, a sense of survival, because this is all he has. The blue, the blue uh, fire. How does it come? Uh, it's processing the the burning, the gas of sulfur coming coming out from the whole volcano. Imagine there's thousands of volcanoes here in Indonesia and Asia in general, and the planet, and only one right here and two creates this phenomena. It's yeah. It's incredible. It's incredible. This was <laughs> yeah. But the, the water is warm. Yeah. Warm. And then uh, it's cannot for swimming. <laughs> because the acid. So you die? Uh, no, not not die. If uh, you get the water in the skin, it's not not problem. But skin like here, mm -hmm. it's itchy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Come back. <laughs> if you have hard skin on your feet, instead of going to the spa, just put your feet here. Isn't you it acid? Uh, acid, but uh, the the level is low. Wow, <laughs> it's like I would say it's when you fill up the bathtub. Me? Yeah. So that, it's very warm. It's Amelia hot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's it's oh my god. This is this is like a, a real hot spring. Langsung ke rumah saya itu. Okay, Ken, medang medangin ya, medang robot terakangin. Oke, makasih. Oke, good. So now we are going to our secret sunrise, but 1.5 kilometers uphill here, and apparently this is where we're gonna get spoiled big time. Very close to the sunrise.
We just watched the most magnificent sunrise on top of this mountain. It's insane. I can't believe that we made it to the destination, I guess. I mean, this has been such an adventure and everything from the drive to the boat to the boat to and the... to the lake of sleep. It's kind of a stressful adventure, but when you get here and the sun rises and you see the nature... It all makes sense. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is probably the most beautiful place I've ever been. Henla, come here. Thank you for guiding us here. You are welcome. I don't think we would have made it uh, on, our, on our own. I read an article that said like you don't need a guide, but I mean, good luck finding down to the crate and knowing where, where to go. And also all the stories you tell along the way. I mean, that's... Yeah, and even finding the right sunset spot. Did you have WhatsApp? Yes, I yeah. have. We're gonna put it in the description and uh, then, you know, if there are any of you guys who wanna get him as a guide. You can get him down below yeah. in the yeah. description. Yeah. But is this this is the highlight, right? Yeah. This is um, what you come for. Okay guys, our adventure has almost come to an end. We are trekking back home to the parking and we are driving back home to where we stay in Jango. I'm so glad that you want to watch this video and we really had a fun time making it. But I'm gonna swipe to the boys. It's been an adventure with so many uh, aspects uh, that I can't really compare it to anything. And I think the most remarkable thing here, uh, ex except of course the, the nature, was seeing these human beings walking up and down with 100 kilos on their shoulders for something that wouldn't even qualify as minimum wage where we come from. So, I mean, we've seen a part of the world today that uh, is, is here but we don't really know about it and that's it's 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 crazy um, the good thing about these workers is that there are less and less of them and that's because of tourism partly so that's a good thing we we we, we shouldn't have people uh, working these jobs it's 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 torture but uh Hendra, yeah come say goodbye okay. thank you so much you are welcome this three magazi three magazi sama, sama. Three magazi. Three magazi. Oh my Sama god. Sama. I've tried learning this hundred times. Three magazi. Three magazi. It was a pleasure and we will be back uh, to Java one day and we, you will be our guide. Yeah. Uh, can you say goodbye uh, to, uh, the, to the people in your language? Uh, Sampai jumpa. <laughs> Sampai jumpa. We know that one. We know that one. Yeah. Sampai jumpa y obrigada para ver un video. Até logo. Tchau, tchau.
I admire this uh, so much. I think it's incredible. Incredible. And he and he's walking in flip-flops. Han laver ikke nogen fejl. Er det ikke sygt? This is deadlift with one shoulder, Jon. Are you carrying? Oh my goodness! It's heavy? I can barely stand with it and he work, walks uphill, downhill. Okay, yeah, I, let, down. slowly, slowly. Yeah, yeah okay. slow. Okay. Slow, yeah. slow. Okay. Oh. You good? Okay. <laughs> oh. Every day, 15 years, up and down. I need to tip him. Yeah. So one step closer to the trolley. Yeah. Get a trolley. You yeah. get much more when you get a trolley. You can go up and down three yeah. times. Three times. Yeah. Long time, man. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Only one thousand rupees for one kilo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or something commonly, money, money. Me one time. Yeah. Finish for something. Yeah. So guys, we are back home now and um... making the video, we realized that we could help this guy earning some more money. And uh, basically this miner is the only guy without a trolley and that means he only earns one um, trip a day and uh, that's four or five uh, euros. Yeah. So we have uh, created a GoFundMe link down below in the description. So if you want to help this guy get a trolley so he can start earning more money, yeah. you can just click the link below and you can help us One euro, whatever you got. It's only 200 euros uh, he needs to, to buy this trolley, but that is an enormous amount of money for this guy. Like yeah. it's not possible for him to, to save up that much money. Especially not when he can't carry more than 70 kilos a day yeah. up and down the mountain. So yeah. Yeah, click the link below and help him. Thank you guys. For you. Oh, thank oh you so really? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you think, like? Yeah, it's a teddy bear. We have we have, now it, it's perfect with. Um, oh, it's cute. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Samba Jumba, Samba Jumba, trolley. Get a trolley. Yeah. <laughs>